today I am doing a poodle hairstyle with bangs. And I'm actually showing you guys how to curl my bangs as well. So I'm really excited to start this series of hairdos now that I have cut my bangs. You guys have been asking like crazy. So I'm going to do a bunch of styles really quickly before I start growing these suckers out. And maybe I'll do another grow out bangs video as well. But anyways, let's get started. Okay, so to start, I'm going to spray my hair with this heat protectant spray. This is just Matrix Biolage Blue Agave. This is basically the same spray that I use um, in all of my videos. We're just trying to protect our hair from the heat. Now, you guys are always asking me how I do my bangs. And I basically, when my hair was wet last night, I just blow dry them. I don't blow dry them in any specific way. I kind of just go back and forth like this with the brush while I'm blow drying so that it just dries them. And then sometimes I do a little bit of the underneath kind of business, but I'm actually gonna curl them. So it doesn't really matter how you blow dry them as long as they're nice and straight. So now I am taking an inch curling iron. Make sure it's not smaller than an inch. If it is smaller than this, you're gonna end up with mushroom bangs, especially if your bangs are a little bit longer. So I'm just curling the ends and don't leave the curling iron in the hair for too long because then you will get crimps and again you will get mushroom bangs. You can do this with a flat iron. I just feel that they don't get as round and also sometimes it's harder to maneuver a flat iron um, in shorter bangs. So after I do the under layer, I'm going to do the top layer. And same thing, just don't do it for too long because then you'll crimp. And I just do the top layer too so that it ends up with a nice round shape instead of just the bottoms being curled. Then I'm gonna comb them. I'm gonna recomb these when the whole style is done anyway, so it doesn't matter if they look nice and straight, but that's basically how I curl my bangs. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch to a smaller curling iron. This is a three quarters inch curling iron. You wanna make sure for these poodle curls, the curling iron is really nice and small, otherwise you're not gonna get those really, really tight curls. And I am also using pin curl clips. So basically, I'm just gonna pin curl my hair just how I always do. Because I have bangs, I'm actually going to part my hair in the center. So for a poodle without bangs, I part my hair on the side and sort of give it that swoop. But with bangs, you don't have that swoop in it, so you don't really need to worry about where the part is. I just keep it in the center because that's where I part my hair normally. So you're gonna do about inch sections, and then I'm just gonna curl my hair, pin curl my hair, just like I usually do. And I'm making all of the curls go down away from my part. You can really make them go whichever direction you want because when I do poodle, a poodle with bangs, it tends to be a messier poodle. So I'm not so worried about the curls being um, super uniform. And then when they're all done, it'll look a little something like this. Ta-da! I also put lipstick on because I realized I had forgotten it. So anyways, this is what your curls will look like when you are done. They don't need to be super neat. Make sure they are very, very cooled down to set that curl in there really well. Then you're just gonna take out your pin curl clips. So now I'm just gonna run my fingers through these curls to loosen them up a little bit. And then I'm gonna give this middle section of my hair a nice tease. And that's what's gonna create the sort of sculpture that all the curls are gonna go around. So I'm just gonna pull these sections up in the center. And this front part right behind my bangs is where I'm gonna tease the most because that's kind of when the poodle is up here where all the pins are gonna stick into. And then I'm just gonna do the section right behind that but still in the center of the head. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with this center section that's already up there and I'm just gonna pin it into place so that I can pin everything else kind of on top and around it. So this first section, I'm just gonna lay right behind my bangs and I'm just gonna put one pin right here, right above my bangs, and that gives it that sort of like beehive-y, poodle-y sort of place to lay on. So now I'm gonna take my styling wax. This is my Lady Luck pomade. There is a discount code in the description below for this stuff. And I'm just gonna smooth the sides of my hair with this so that when I start to comb the sides, all the little flyaways will behave and stay in place. I'm gonna do it on both sides before I start to brush. So now I'm going to use my little fine tooth comb and I'm just going to comb these sections up. And then once it's up and nice and smooth, I'm just going to pin it at the very top of that section. The point of these pins is to be hidden. So you want to pin them as high up as you can so then you can pull the hair down on top of the pin and you don't see it. So I'm just going to basically do that same thing all the way around the hair. And you also want to make sure that you comb it up pretty far up in that back Otherwise, it won't be as much of a poodle as a normal updo. And then I'm going to comb this front side section. Another thing too is if you have stubborn hair or really thick hair, you can put one pin in this way and then crisscross the other pin over the top of it and that will hold the pins even stronger. If you have finer hair, you don't have to worry about the crisscross, but that will just definitely keep your pins in because sometimes the problem is your hair is just too heavy for the pins to hold them up like this. 
Okay, now I'm going to use my Get Layered by Sexy Hair Hairspray, and I'm just going to spray these back sections. I'm going to do a lot of spraying and smoothing, but this is a good layering hairspray, so you can comb over the top of it without it flaking. Now, I'm going to arrange these top layers. I just grab this all in a bunch, and then I'm just going to put a pin in it. And because it's messily curled, pins will stay really easily. And I didn't really comb through or tease any of the rest of the curls because I want them to still be kind of pretty and not too teased looking. So I'm just gonna kind of arrange and pin and see where things look pretty as I go. And as I work, I'm gonna spray. I also like to make sure that these sides stay really nice and tight so if they start to sort of droop at all, just keep putting pins in there to hold the shape. Sometimes as you're working, it'll put weight on them and they'll wanna sort of fall down. So you can just keep pinning. This little section here in the front, I'm actually gonna roll under because it feels a little too fluffy to me. Try to hide your pins. It's easier to hide your pins in a poodle than any other style, but if you can't hide them, it's no big deal. And then I'm just gonna spray everything into place. I like to spray and sort of pat, and it helps to set any of the little flyaways. It's kind of like patting your weave, but for a totally different reason. There we go, poodle with bangs. I hope you guys found this easy and user friendly. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason to doing a poodle in general, but I feel like a poodle with bangs is a little bit easier because since your bangs are so nice and neat, you can get away with it being a little bit messier and it doesn't look as unfinished as it would if that was just the poodle all by itself. Um, another thing too you can do is add flowers. So I'm using this piece by Put a Flower on it. This is my girl in Canada. So see which way this flower wants to look. This is also good too if you do have any areas in the front that kind of didn't behave for you. You can just put a flower on it to kind of mask those a little bit. So this is it, my poodle. Like I said, hopefully you guys liked it. Um, let me know if you want to see me do any other styles with bangs while I have them. Get them while they're hot because they're going quick. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to check out these other videos that I have posted to see more of my wackiness. And if you want to see even more of my wackiness, be sure to subscribe for all things that are vintage and retro and general silliness.